Today, I am going to be showing you a very easy step-by-step -step omena recipe that will turn out very delicious. This is a recipe for about two to three people and the omena is for 50 Kenya shillings. So this is how it's looking like. I've not yet washed. So I'm going to wash and show you the next step. After washing, this is how my omena is looking like. It's well sorted and clean. So I'll move over to my stove top where I've placed a frying pan with cooking oil. I'm going to be frying my omena. I'm going to carefully place in my omena in the hot oil. Fry the omena for about one to two minutes until it's a little bit crispy. Frying the omena is going to give a very awesome golden brown color and it's also going to add a lot of flavor to our omena. So it's starting to have a very nice light golden brown color. I am going to be transferring to a plate so I'm going to drain off the excess oil listen to that crunch as the omena is cooling I'm going to be chopping up one onion Dice the onions a little bit. Transfer the onions to my frying pan. Stir in the onions. As the onions are cooking, I'm also going to be adding in some garlic and ginger, which I've already crushed. Next, I'm going to chop one leek. Transfer the leek to my pan. Stir in and let the leek cook together with the onions. Next, I'm going to be chopping up two tomatoes. As my onion is cooking, I'm going to be adding a few spices. So I'm going to add in garlic, paprika, turmeric, and black pepper. My onions are looking so good. So next, I'll add in my diced tomatoes. Add in tomato paste, stir in. Add in a third cup of water and let the tomatoes fully cook. I'm also going to be adding in some coriander stems. The coriander stems are full of flavor, so don't throw away your coriander stems. Nice. Stir in the coriander. Next, I'm going to add in one seasoning cube and a small pinch of salt stir in i love adding leek to my omena because it adds a lot of flavor so don't skip on the leek my tomatoes are ready and they're looking so good so i'm going to be adding in my already cooled omena just listen to that crunch stir in the omena Add in half a cup of water and let the omena simmer on low for about three to four minutes until the gravy is thick and looking very delicious. This is how it's looking after three minutes. I love how creamy it's looking. So I'm going to be adding in some coriander to garnish. Stir in the coriander and I'm truly going to be enjoying my omena with some soft ugali. It's been an amazing 15 minutes and I absolutely love how the omena has turned out. It's so good and so delicious. So I hope you'll be trying out this amazing recipe at home. Bye.